You're still watching Thai Night Long, but let's read your messages on Twitter and YouTube. Yes, sir. Actually, nandito po ang ating very own Brian Barola sa ating YouTube comment section. Sabi niya, lesson learned, everyone. Wag marupok. Yes. Oh, we also have a tweet from JM Kakauchi. Yes. Sabi niya, ang sabi niya, may sinabi siya. Yes. May sinabi siya. Ako nalang magbapasa. At yan ang sinasabi niya. Yeah, lion. Lines such as, I really like you as a friend, we're only friends, and the like are hurting. That is why I hate rejection. Before I intend to curse very badly, my crush rejected me, but I need to accept that fact. Okay, relate much with tonight's moment. Wow, yeah. Yes. Ito rin sabi ni Brian Barola. Also, don't be afraid to tell what you feel. You may not get the response that you want. At least you get to tell them how you feel. That's true. Uh -oh. Anaraw? <laughs> yeah, yeah, siya ngayon guest po natin. Uh -oh. Yes. Ah, siya pala yun. Oh, Hi, siya Brian. Moment. Siya yung sa moment mo. Okay. Ito rin si Heron. Ang dami niyang minamessage din dito. Pero sabi din niya, yung, yung crush daw niya na nursing student, pinin-end zone siya kasi gusto daw studies first. Ah, uh, at least. Uh -oh. That's not you. Nakshout out din kay Dennis Soria, kay Ina Mendez, kay Paolo. Yes, all right, all right, all right. Okay, ma. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> it's better to the market shops again. Remember to scan the QR code that you see on the screen or go to pi.com.ph slash join para makijoin kayo sa aming mga chikahan. But now it's time naman para matulungan isa nating katropay through our pieces of advice. This is TLK, Tender Love and Care. Meron ba kayong love problems? Nagugulahan sa life or gusto mo lang ng kadamay? Well, I've got just a thing for you. This is Tender Love and Karen where I give you my TLC advice. So let's see what we have tonight. Uy. Ah, it looks like a resume. A very short one. Normally, pag resume, di ba? Wala ka tapos ang papers. But, okay. Here's the letter. Our letter sender is Angel. Dear Karen, I'm Angel, fresh grad from a university in Naga. Kasulukuyan ako ng nagdo-dorm ngayon dito sa Manila. Naghahanap ng trabaho. I want to stay here in Manila for good kasi mababa talaga ang sahod sa probinsya kahit sa mga professional jobs. Graduate ako ng engineering, a five-year course. Tapos ang sahod dito ng engineer parang mas mababa pa sa minimum sa Manila. Mas maraming career opportunities dito sa Metro, pero marami rin akong kakumpetensya sa mga entry-level engineering jobs. Anong laban ko sa mga graduate ng Lasal, Ateneo, at UP? During job interviews, mapazoom or face-to-face -face interview, I always give my best. Kaya lang, hindi na ako tinatawagan after the final interview. Hanggang ngayon, wala pa rin akong work. It's been four months. Paano ba mag-stand out as an applicant? Sana po ay matulungan ninyo ako. From Angel. Oh, Angel, so you've been free, quote-unquote free, uh, since you graduated for four months already. Actually, may mga iba nga nagbe-break for one year, pero may iba, gustong kumayod agad and get a job immediately. FYI, ah, this is normal, na yung minimum wage sa mga probinsya is way lower kasi the cost of living is, you know, a lot cheaper. Kaya, normal lang po yun. Dito sa Metro Manila, mas mahal po talaga ang bilihin, kaya mas matas din ang minimum wage. Kaya, wag kang malito doon. O oh, ito, since Angel, you want to work here and you are trying your best pero every single interview na ginagawa mo, pero uh, wala, hindi ka talaga nakukuha. At least you are trying, okay? Send ka lang ng sender resume. Pero ito, itong masasabi ko sa'yo para mag-stand out ka. Huwag mong iisipin na Ivy League school is you know, immediately pasok agad. Sa dami po nang mag-graduate sa malaking mga eskwelahan, pati nga yung mga ano, cum laude, mga 
mga honor students, hindi po ibig sabihin nun, diretsyong may trabaho na sila. Madami pa rin naghihintay. And sa dami nag apply konti nga lang naman ang opening. So, how does one even get a job? How does one get noticed, di ba, in an interview? Even if you have a really nice personality, makit ganun? Hindi talaga ako nabibigyan ng chance. At ang nakakatawa pa doon, ang sabi sa fresh grad na job offering ay kailangan may experience ka. Paano ko magkaka-experience eh first job ko nga to, di ba? So, one of the things that you can get ano, attention from the interviewer is ito, uh, something that you will have to challenge yourself is you actually ano, can create something. O, pwede mong i-present sa kanya na nag-create ka ng something. What do you mean, Karen? Like, kunyari, sumali ka sa grupo, nag-intern ka, tapos may ginawa kang I don't know, robot or drone. Nakikita mo yon sa mga online na gumagawa sila ng mga little things through their engineering skills. Kasi if the applicant sees na you've actually built something because you join groups like automotive, automotive groups, like kung you've done like some, I don't know, Tesla car or something like that, and they do exist here in the Philippines, ha? yung mga grupo na natalagang just for a hobby, nagbibuild ng kung ano-ano with their skills, ha? Yun, manonotice yun ng ano, ng nag interview sa yun, na ay, may passion talaga siya, hindi lang dala niya yung grades niya, kasi sa grades naman, lahat kayo may grades, diba? Lahat kayo pumunta sa skwelahan. Anong difference sa sa'yo, anong meron sa sa'yo na mapapaisip ako, na babalik yung investment ko sa pagbayad ng sweldo ko sa'yo, diba? So you bring in more flavor when you've actually interned, okay? When you've actually like, you know, built stuff in a group, like an engineering group, or kunyari, computer engineering, gumawa ka na ng code, may websites ka na, maipapakita mo sa kanila na hindi lang grades at magandang personality, but an actual output na they can train, they could work on, they could play with, and they'll be like, this is an interesting person, I kind of want to get this person kasi may initiative siya, interesting siya, at gumagawa na siya ng kung ano-ano noon pa. At what more can he do when he actually gets in the company? So there, try that out. Look for groups online, mga engineer groups, yan. Gusto-gusto nila mag-build mga drone, mga kung ano-ano, at, you know, sumali ka doon at ilagay mo doon yung pangalan mo, I did this po and let them experience it. All right, here's my question to you, mga katropay. Ano ang priority mo sa paghahanap ng work? Sahod and perks to gumasa course mo? Convenience, basta may work? Okay na. Yeah, let's ask Aaron and Renee about this one. Sa engineering, ano, student that's trying to find work. Ooh. How does one, you know, look better than the other applicants? <laughs> Alam niyo, so sinasabi ko nga dati na very corporate dapat yung trabaho, yung field ko. So, I've experienced that job seeking through the pandemic. Ang masasabi ko lang talaga is, coming as well from people from HR, they don't necessarily look at your grades Yo. anymore, mga katropay, or the school that you've been in. They're looking at your experiences and what you can offer to the company. Mm -hmm. Diba? Actually, most of the time, when I interned for this uh, for this e-commerce brand, yung nga, medyo nga, hindi nga, hindi nga sila tumitingin sa mga schools like Ateneo, UP, and yeah. Lasal. Mm. Kasi sinasabi nila, mga entitled siya. Yeah, no, that's super true. Mga... That's super true. The Gen Z. <laughs> Totoo. Kasi yung mga, tapos yung mga nasa ibang schools, accept na nila yung mga trabaho na bibigay sa kanila. Mm. Which is, I have no idea if it's true or not. Kasi based on the experience, ako naman, kumakaya din ako. Pero, ang tama yung sinabi ni Karen na ang kailangan mo ipakita is yung mga experiences mo. Mm. Maybe in college, you lead, you were a leader for this certain group. Basta ang pinaka-importante is the experience experience aspect. I also have sa letter center din natin you you sent you sent a resume. Ang mga advice ko rin sa resume mo instead of putting subjective topics like uh, spearheaded this blank blank blank, ipakita mo yung mga analytics. Mm. And by this I mean improve the company's R ROI That's by 10% nice. yeah. or uh, I in of I've called 100 calls in a day parang ganun ganun basta show the numbers because yun yung tinitingnan nila yung mga numero and how they can apply that to your company yeah mga charts ganyan why uh -oh. I'm an asset to you guys mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yung pinaka-importante talaga din dyan is not just looking at the conventional places like job seeker, uh, play, job seeker websites. You can look into Facebook groups. You can look to yeah. your friends of friends. Friends yeah. of friends. Maraming... Or you can network through going to clubs. <laughs> Yun din, in all honesty. <laughs> oh, you know, honestly, that's a good way now of meeting 
people is really like talking in bars and clubs. Because they need to networking. They go to certain places, yeah. they meet people, they talk, and then, hey, I have this business, I have that, 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 that. So, yeah, we have to be no, really it's... nice. You never know who you're hanging out with. Yeah. And so, paano pinaghahandaan ang job interview? Oh, meron mga quintessential job interview questions talaga that you will always have to prepare for. Mm -hmm. What, ako wari, ang tao dito, uh, parang something na acronym na STAR. Para, or kawari, pro, kapag when you're asked the, with this question na what is your disadvantage never mo sasabihin na uh, i am too ano i'm too perfectionist parang ganun ganun you, ano ba dapat you will have to say that you've encountered this type of problem uh -huh. pero you just don't say that problem lang you say how you, you over you how you overcame yeah. that problem and uh -huh. how you're how you're preventing that problem from ever happening ever again yeah. kasi job see job Job, uh, ano pa dito, mga HR people, they uh, like they like to see the real people. Troubleshooters. Mm -hmm. Troubleshooters. Uh, uh, yeah. mm -hmm. And also dress up, you know, place makeup, eh, look really nice, magpa haircut ka, mm -hmm. dapat magpa mabango ka. ka. Yun, importante, tsaka ayusin mo yung damit mo because they're gonna yeah. be like, you're gonna represent the company and you're yeah. gonna be like that. Tsaka diba? be natural. I think that's one thing that a lot of people feel like kapag corporate, yeah. there should be a certain way of how I should talk. Mm. I should really change. I mean, like, one thing that I learned sa comfy class ko, um, is that the more cred like if you want to assert credibility within yourself, you actually just have to talk the way you normally do, but sure mm. in a confident way. Pero wag yung parang scripted na yes, thank you so much. Actually, this is how ganyan ganyan. Uh, and usually, uh, some people how they feel like nakas kapag corporate or public speaking, whatever. They feel like they are more credible when they talk a certain way. But act be as natural as you can. Kasi ba hindi ito Miss Universe. Oh, uh, feeling ko so sobrang nervous niya, sobrang high pitch. Yeah, but you may not because they check all those little behaviors also. So, yeah. Ang masasabi ko lang din talaga is even if it's after four months and you feel like mahirap talaga maghanap ng trabaho, hmm. it's a part of life. Yeah. You will be faced with hundreds of rejections. Yes. But as long True. as you get that one job, yeah. yan yeah. lang na importante. Yeah. Keep oh. persevering because a lot of people also are in the same boat. Hindi lang naman ikaw. Talagang it's really a time now that people are just struggling to really find jobs. So it's normal. It's okay. It doesn't mean na parang you're behind or you're any less than other people who have jobs. Because at least ikaw, ikaw, you're doing your part to actually look yeah. for a job. Right? Oh, and while you're, you know, you're waiting, again, try to find experience. Kahit libre lang yan, internship lang yeah. yan. For the resume. Oh, once you get that job though, as it talaga, you will be trusted because you've experienced everything be Ito. before that. Ayan. Never underestimate the power of free internships because yeah. if you work with the right people, those will, those people will lead you to the jobs that you oh, want. Oh, sila pa mag introduce ng job sa yon, yes. diba? Or mga ibang bosses. So, there you go, Angel! Yes, and don't forget to pray also because in God's time, you'll get that job. Yeah. Alright? Thank you and that's it for today. Para sa mga gusto ng advice, padaling nyo na yung letters ninyo sa pinightlong at gmail.com para mapakinggan ko yung mga hinanakit at pinagdadaanan ninyo. Join me again tomorrow for more CLK Sender Lovin. Karen. Right, all right, all right. Thanks, Miss Kay. Magbabalik ang pie night long, so don't go away. We'll be right back. Thank you.